In the meantime, the Independent National Electoral Commission on Tuesday opened and closed its defense in Peter Obi's petition challenging the result of February 25 presidential election. Recall that Bola Tinubu was declared the winner of the election and was sworn in as the president on May 29. Obi of the Labour Party is urging the presidential election petition court in Abuja to set aside Tinubu's victory on grounds that the Independent National Electoral Commission failed to comply with the electoral laws. We are not even surprised because if you look very well and if you understand exactly what is happening, the whole structure of this election and the problems with the election is based on technology. And today INEC has called their IC, IC director who came to well justify what INEC did by way of what they said, the glitches that occurred, how they tried to fix the glitches, how they uh, develop, deployed patches to fix the glitches. So apart from this issue of technological glitches, there would have been no problem with the election. The election would have been uh, transparent, would have been credible, would have been as Nigerians expected. Because I'm sure every Nigerian who voted knew what the result of the election ought to have been. So when the people now found different results, on the IREV, particularly blood copies, blood images, blood pictures, on the IREV. And don't forget that INEC had assured Nigerians that election results will be uploaded from the polling unit in real time from the beavers to the IREV. So we were wondering what happened then. So, and when the INEC IC director testified and provided evidence. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.